Hey, how y'all doing today? Um, we're getting ready for our first day one of our Facebook Live broadcast. And uh, we're gonna just wait a couple seconds here and let everybody kind of join us and uh, get online here. And um, this is really exciting for us. We've never done anything like this. And, and I think uh, you're, you're gonna have a lot of fun learning and seeing behind the scenes of how custom jewelry is made. So I think we can go ahead and get started now. Uh, welcome uh, to our day one of uh, learning about uh, creating jewelry and so I just wanted to show you just a couple little things real quick here um, here we have um, some of the custom jewelry that we've made over the years um, actually recently and um, <clears throat> one of my favorites is this big beautiful uh, blue zircon and uh, it's just all been handmade here and it's a, a gorgeous little piece um, some of this, this gold right here has actually been mined in Alaska and uh, we're sourcing some live gold or um, mined gold from Alaska, having it refined in Oklahoma and then we actually alloy it here uh, in our shop and then create uh, beautiful jewelry that's been handmade here in our own shop. The sapphire was mined in uh, Montana, so it's all been made right here in uh, Marietta, Georgia with product from America. Uh, this is another one of our uh, pieces. This particular gold piece was um, mined from uh, um, California. And so uh, we're really excited for you to join us today. And <clears throat> we're going to try to answer the questions that you don't even know to ask. And so let's begin by going to check out Haley and see what kind of sketches and drawings that she's doing. So come on, let's go. Are you coming? Come on. All right, it's Haley. So Haley is our sketch artist, and uh, she does some beautiful drawings for our customers. And so Haley, why don't you introduce you to how you do what you do here? Sure. Um, when I get to sit down with a customer, I get to hear just a couple of ideas that they've got, and then I get the chance to put it all together and kind of describe um, what they're thinking. So I usually start out with a page of just like really um, rough sketches. We're just throwing ideas around trying to get stuff down on paper and um, at this stage I would say something like be as critical as you can. Tell me what you, you really don't like and tell me what you do like and then from there we'll mix the two together and, and pull everything that you like into one ring. So the customer in this case chose this one right here. So then I would go into like a brainstorming process with that rough sketch um, I would kind of just get my ideas down, um, play with a couple things. Of course, it's very, very rough at this point. And then even more, just making it a little bit more refined until I get exactly what I want. And then from there, I try to do as, as technical of a drawing as I possibly can, um, just to make Joseph job, Joseph's job a little bit easier. Well, cool. Well, let me um, take that over to Joseph. and. Um going to take uh, the, the final drawing on over to Joseph and see what he can do in the computer for us. Come on, let's go. Are you coming? Let's go. Hey, Joseph. Hi. How's it going? Good. All right. Got Haley us. gave us a beautiful drawing here. Nice. We need you to work your magic and show us what's next. Yeah, yeah. Well, come on around here. I'll show you. Um, so when Haley gives me a sketch, kind of what I'm looking for is, uh, is where to start. Um, so I, I usually start with the center stone, um, but on this one, I think I'm gonna start right in the center part. She's got this like, um, I guess gallery, under gallery rail, I would call it, um, design in there. So let's begin um, and pull that up in here. So every, uh, every piece of jewelry I make, I start out with a, um, a finger, what we call a finger rail. Um, basically telling the computer what size is the individual. Um, so from there, I'll pull in, um, these these design elements that I created for those for that under gallery design. So I'll rotate that around. Um, let's see, twelve times. Pull that around there to start create that that under gallery. Next thing we'll do is uh, pull up our center stone. So we're going to choose um, let's do a carrot and a half on this one. Pull him up to his correct correct spot up there, and then. Um, Next, we'll pull in our, our prongs that we're going to use. Uh, so on this one, she drew a, a six-prong head 
um, what we call a six prong head. Basically, that is um, that is that is six individual prongs on the center stone there. Uh, so we design that out, and then next we'll finish it off by um, creating our shank or our shoulder part right there. So I'll pull that in. All right, so we got our our these purple dots here. These are the prongs that actually hold the stones in um, in place. That's what Haley will be setting. Um, setting with. So we'll mirror that around to the other side there to kind of finish the, that design off. Looks good. So next thing we'll do is um, we actually create a rendering, um, what we call a rendering. Um, it is um, kind of like a real life, um, this is what the design would look like if, if it was gold and, and diamond and stuff like that. Um, so we'll go ahead and choose this, this under gallery portion. Um, we'll assign it a color. We're going to choose uh, rose gold on this one. And then um, we'll pull these, everything else um, that hold the diamonds and everything, we'll put that in white gold right there. And then choose our stones there and then assign those to be, um, to be diamonds. All right, and we'll hit this uh, render button here. And it pulls up and shows um, exactly kind of, you know, what it would look like if it were diamonds, real gold, like that. This is, uh, this is the, the picture here we'd actually send a customer. Um, show them that design. Say, hey, what do you like? What do you not like about it? Kind of helps to bring the, the sketches to life, kind of visualize them a little bit better. So, But we'll send that to the customer, see what they think. Um, come back tomorrow um, when we actually will print, 3D print the design, um, and then uh, set it up for casting. Um, so we'll see you tomorrow.